Mankind has always sought to explore outer space and study the universe. Scientists whose primary task are to expand knowledge about the world took the task on themselves. During the ancient epoch, a man watched the sky with unaided eye, made constellations and built observatories. In the early 70th century, Dutch glasses craftsmen made a terrestrial telescope. Galileo Galilei was the first to come up with the idea to use his terrestrial telescope for sky watching. He redesigned this telescope to some extent. Galileo's telescope had a convex lens and concave eyepiece. Technically, such telescope was a refractor. Galileo called his telescope a perspective. This telescope provided threefold magnification only, but the scientists managed to improve the design to 32 fold magnification, thus making a plenty of discoveries. Please remember at that time the heliocentric theory stating that the Earth revolves around the Sun was not popular. However, Galileo's observations proved the theory. He discovered the Jupiter satellites, estimated their periods of revolution, saw Sun's pulse, and made other amazing discoveries. It's not surprising that astronomers took offensive for watching and discovering more. This was the outset of an optical telescope era. People invented a reflector which was a telescope with a mirror to collect light. Scientists constantly tried to increase lenses and mirrors and improve their performance. 1667 saw the first observatory in Paris headed by Cassini, a famous astronomer. This observatory had a 154 telescope. No less famous Greenwich Observatory appeared in the next decade. One hundred years after, Willem Herschel, another very famous astronomer, discovered satellites of the Saturn and the Uranus using Herschel telescope, which was the largest one for the time being. This was a reflector equipped with a mirror 126 mm in diameter. Scientists also tried to increase mirrors. At first, telescopes had 2 meter mirrors, then they had 3 meter mirrors. The USSR built the record breaking gigantic telescope, the large Altazimus telescope. This reflector with a 6 meter mirror used to be the world's largest telescope from 1975 to 1993. The mirror workpiece weighed 70 tons. After melting, its cooling took 2 years and 90 days. If glass cooling had taken less time, it would have broken. Glass polishing took 6.5 months, resulting in the weight loss of 30 tons. To eliminate the temperature difference in the daytime and at night, an estimated night temperature is maintained in the observatory dome space. However, CAP telescopes excel the large Altazimus telescope with their 10 meter mirrors. The telescopes farther placed on Hawaii, each primary mirror is made of 36 hexagonal seg segments combined in a single system. The Grand Telescope at Canaris appeared later on the Canary Islands. It had a 10.4 meter mirror. Using this telescope, you can watch objects. 10 billion times weaker than those that can be seen with unaided eye. The Southern African Large Telescope has an assembled mirror of similar size. Its overall diameter is 11 meters. Gemini telescopes are also worth mentioning. The assembled mirror diameter is 8.1 meter. Similar telescopes are installed in two hemispheres, on Hawaii and Chile. They cover the whole celestial sphere. Chile also has a telescope that is called a Very Large Telescope. Actually, it's made of four telescopes with a mirror diameter of 8.2 meters. Four telescopes can work individually or combine their efforts. When combined, their collective ability equals to that of 16 meters telescope. Well, these are all optical telescopes. And what about radio telescopes? Let's take a well-known spherical reflector located at Arecibo, Puerto Rico, integrated with the surrounding terrain. This is the world's largest telescope with one aperture. The mirror diameter exceeds 600 meters. 
One more radar telescope of another type found its place in Greenback, USA. Greenback telescope is the world's largest all-round parabolic radar telescope with a mirror diameter of 100 meters. The former USSR also had RT-70 radar telescope complex. It was planned to comprise three facilities in three different regions. However, only one antenna has survived in the Ukraine. Finally, let me tell you about telescopes that are substantially smaller than gigantic telescopes. However, their scientific value in course is much more higher. There are space telescopes, or so-called astronomic satellites. They launch to the orbit to eliminate atmosphere effects, constraining observations, and to record electromagnetic radiation within bands where the Earth's atmosphere is not transparent, primarily in the infrared band. Such telescopes may also have special equipment for observations within gamma or X-ray band. Hubble is the most famous space telescope launched by NASA in 1990. Its resolution is 7 tenfold bigger than that of a similar telescope on the Earth. It helped collect a plenty of important information during two decades. However, not everyone knows that currently there are over two dozens of telescopes in space including Chandra, Herschel, Spitzer, Swift. They all have different design and intended for various tasks. They use for observations in different wavelengths bands and every day